I want that one. So I remember seeing freshwater stingrays as pets online once and I was like, man, I want one. But the problem is I live at the bottom of the world in a country where we can't have freshwater stingrays as pets. And that's a sheep and we're famous for them. So I settled for the next best thing, a hillstream loach. Look at this cute little guy. So I've decided to call the little guy Hoover. Hoover is from one of my subs, Duda's Den, thanks for the recommendation, but the name is quite fitting. Anyway, these guys come from Southeast Asia, so they're also called the Borneo Saka. They come from environments with super fast flowing rivers. Well. I don't have a fast flowing river, but I'm trying to replicate as best I can. He's got a current and he's got some rocks, which I'm hoping he'll enjoy. So I'm Max and I have reptiles. I mean, that was rather aggressive. Something else I realized about Hoover pretty quickly is that he has a really colorful tail, like a turquoise blue. Now this could be one of four things. First thing is breeding. Maybe he's ready for breeding, but he was super small. He was like a baby compared to the others. Second thing, he's on a really, really good diet. Third thing is that he's actually really, really healthy. And fourth thing is he's got the perfect conditions. I just put him in, so previous environment, fantastic. Hopefully he stays like this. Otherwise, look at that tail, absolutely illustrious. Now, how did this all begin? So it started with this, my overgrown nano tank. You know, at one point you could actually see things, but I had to clean it out before I added a new addition. So I've decided to use this music as ambience to make it seem like it was a peaceful process, but it was actually stressful. So look at this absolute rat nest I just pulled out. I don't even know how the fish were able to physically move in this aquarium. So I thought, nah, that's it. Full clear out, full clean out. So I thought I would use the four wine glasses that I have at home to put the fish in temporarily while I clean everything out. And that would basically stop me from drinking wine whilst I'm doing this. So win-win. These four glasses with my fish invited me of a beer taster that I probably should be having right now, but I've got fish in these glasses. That's okay. I love my fish. Now, I don't normally do 90% water changes, but on this occasion, I decided to. Full clean out. Normally, you do about 10, 20% once a week, so you keep that good cycled water. Scrub a dub dub, put your hands in the tub, everything gets a scrub. Got my little toothbrush out and started brushing. Every crevice, every crack, every nook. Now look at that, disgusting, but it's normal. Half the plants ended up going. I could only salvage half of them, the nice ones, especially for a fresh start. Sometimes I wonder what my fish think. What do they think about when they're swimming around? The water will take a few hours to clear up fully, but I had fish sitting in wine glasses, so I had to start the process. Let's start getting the plants in there. All right, let's get some fish. So we went down to the local fish store and I think I'm a little bit eccentric with fish. I like the weird fish. I like the odd fish, the fish that are not normal, the ones that are probably hard to look after, need big aquariums, but nonetheless, I'm obsessed. So I came home with this little cutie. Once the tank was clear, I got everyone back in and they seemed to thrive in the new environment, including Hoover. Time to give them their first meal, some white worms. Now my gobies and my pea puffer only eat live food. The coolie loaches will eat anything. Oh yeah, some blood worms too. Let's get some color in there. All right, let's turn those lights off as Hoover is nocturnal and see what happens. Hoover's first night. 
he was a completely different fish. He was hooning around all over the glass, showing off his bright blue tail. Weird that's happening at night, whether it's underwater or on land. Nonetheless, it's fascinating. So the transformation is real. It went from this to this. And you know what? It was easy. It just takes patience and passion. I'm a schmuck, an average Joe. If I can do this, anyone can. So I wanted to make Hoover was eating. So a few nights later, I thought I'd give him some blanched broccoli. So after doing some research, Hillstrom loaches need more than just algae. They can eat blanched vegetables, bottom feeder pellets, blood worms, so a varied diet is optimal for them. The coolie loaches and the snail definitely showed a lot more interest on the broccoli, so I got algae wafers next. More food, more food, more food. I needed Hoover to eat. I wanted to see him eat. I wanted to make sure he was happy and comfortable and loving life. But don't worry, I don't feed my fish every single day. I feed every second day to ensure that overfeeding doesn't occur and leftover food doesn't affect the water parameters. He was taking the absolute piss. It took a week of dedicated night stalking for him to finally show me that he eats. It's like he wanted me this close to him before he's like, Hey, yeah, I do eat. What's up? I got a new microscope camera and it's actually legit. It gets me up close and personal to everything. Look at that little tail. Look at that tail flicking around. It's been over a week since I've had Hoover. From having his first meal, darting around during the day, darting around during the night, sucking the glass, I'm pretty sure that's his hobby. My tiny aquarium is an ecosystem of its own. It's got fish, it's got cleanup crew, it's got snails, it's got plants. Everything plays a vital role. Hillstream loaches are quite compatible with a lot of fish. Hence he was a perfect addition to my bumblebee gobies, my pea puffer, and some snails. Hillstream loaches do thrive in groups, and that will be the future for Hoover. So stay tuned. I can't wait. <laughs>